Hi guys, it's Amber Cranston, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome to my channel. Guess what time it is? I got in my new fall winter catalog stuff and testers. Uh, so I'm going to share everything with you guys. Uh, first off, I think I'm going to split it up so it's not a super humongous video. So um, for this video, I'm going to concentrate on um, the testers that are uh, brand new this season, plus ones that have returned that were not in a current catalog um, last year that were like in special collections or were scents of the month, that type of thing. Um, so I'll give you my um, first sniffs opinion on all those. And then I will do a separate video on all the ones that um, are returning that have been in the catalog prior to the season, um, like last fall and winter. And then I will go over um, in a separate video from that as well, another video that I will go over some of the new things um, that aren't wax from the catalog. So let's jump into it, you guys. First off, I think I will do the ones that are um, coming, that are that made the new catalog that were like um, scents of the month or from the special collections that were released last year. So let's jump into those first and then I will do the brand, brand new ones next. So first off, I have 100 Acre Wood, which of course, is a Disney Winnie the Pooh scent that came out last year and it made the current catalog. So I'm super excited about that. Let me read it to you guys what Sensi says about it. Grab your favorite hand and wander through a friendly forest swirling with cotton blossoms, wild jasmine, and sweet cozy vanilla. So I have a feeling this is gonna be like a bedroom type scent. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's, um, you do get like a floral, but it's not a super powdery floral. It does smell like jasmine, but it's not like in your face. It's super soft and sweet. And that vanilla helps to kind of mellow the floral out. And it almost smells like there's honey in it. I know it doesn't list honey, but it does smell like there's a little bit of honey in it, which would be appropriate since it is Winnie the Pooh. Um, so that's 100 Acre Wood. And then next from, okay, Caramel Apple Craze, which I think this was an October scent of the month last year. Ooh. Ooh, yes, it does. It smells like a caramel apple. I do get the apple and I do get a sweet caramel. Ooh, that's nice. I love caramel apple scents. I'm excited about that one. Okay, next we have Perfect Pumpkin Pear. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you what caramel apple craze. I'm sorry, I forgot to read what it was. Let me find it for you guys. Caramel Apple Craze is, where is it? Of course, now I can't find it. Okay, creamy golden caramel, sweet red delicious apples, and whipped vanilla. So yeah, so like a can um, caramel apple. Okay, and then we got, what was this one called? Perfect Pumpkin Pear. Perfect Pumpkin Pear, let's see what category that is in. Perfect Pumpkin Pear, okay, here it is. It's in the spice category. And Sensi says, fall fresh pumpkin and crisp golden pears mingle with uh, breeze drifting cloves and sandalwood accents. Okay, let's see. Mm, that's good. I do get I do get cloves and pumpkin. I'm not really getting pear. Mm, that's nice though. 
If you like spicy scents, this one's really nice. The, the strongest notes to me are the pumpkin and the clove, but I do get like a woody, like a sandalwood note on, on the back end. I'm really not smelling pear, but maybe when warming, if I get the bar, um, that will come out. Okay, next we have Pretty in Plaid, which was December scent of the month last year. Let's see what, let's see. Juniper berries jibe with minty fresh winter green, festive Douglas fir, and bright tart cranberries. Hmm. Now, I was kind of surprised when I saw this one came back. I didn't try it last year, but I know that at one point in time it was in the clearance section, so I didn't think it did very well, but obviously it did well enough to make it into the catalog. It's nice. I do get jun juniper berry and a sweetness. There is a sweetness to it, which must be the, the cranberries. I don't really get mint, but I do get a fur note. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, next we have another woods one, evergreen and grapefruit. This is fresh fur needles and white cedar sparkle with radiant notes of grapefruit. Now this one is like brighter than the last one. Ooh, I like this one better on cold sniff anyway, compared to the pretty in plaid. Yeah, there you do get the citrus and it kind of brightens up the evergreen in it, the woods. Oh, that's really nice. Ooh, I can totally imagine melting this during the winter around Christmas time. That's evergreen and grapefruit. Okay, and then last of the returning that weren't wasn't in the catalog last year is Snow Kiss Cranberry. And I think this is in, let me see, I think it's in the fruit. Yes. Okay, so Sensi says. Frozen pink cranberries trek through fresh fallen powder, white balsam, and glistening sugared woods. It's not a super tart cranberry, but I would say that the cranberry fruit note in it is the most prominent note. I kind of get a woods note. It's not, I don't really get like fur. I don't get balsam, but I do get like a wood note. It's pretty. Um, I think I do prefer the returning, um, oh, what one was that called? Uh, candy cranberry pecan better, but that's pretty. I like that. Okay, now on to the brand new scents to the catalog this year. Absolutely brand new, never before released scents. So let's jump into those, shall we? Okay, first off we have Almond Croissant. Almond Croissant. Sensi says, a fresh baked croissant is made even more heavenly with cinnamon sugar and an infusion of almond. Mm, I do smell the almond and I get a slight cinnamon sugar it's not super strong so don't worry about that those of you that are afraid of cinnamon it it is bakery it's like almond it almost is like churro churro but less cinnamon and with an almond note instead Mmm, that smells really good. So that's Almond Croissant, brand new. Okay, next we have Apples and Oats. Sensi says, rich buttery oats, caramelized apple, 
and warm hints of cinnamon beckon straight from a farmhouse kitchen. All right, let's let's see what it is. Hmm. Yeah, this one it has more cinnamon than almond croissant. And I get an apple. Um, I guess I get an oat. Yeah, it's similar to, um, there was one in January's Bring Back My Bar, Perfect Oatmeal. I can't remember what it was called. It was something like that. It's similar to that, except more cinnamon and an apple note. It's nice. It, it's a very like comforting scent, I think. Okay, next we got breakfast in bed. Okay, breakfast in bed is wake up to a warm pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped by a sweet cinnamon drizzle. Sounds good. Ooh, yep, I do get pumpkin. Um, I get a, yeah, there is a pastry note to it. Hmm, yeah, and cinnamon. The raspberry in it isn't super strong, but it is there. It does remind me a little bit of winterberry apple tea, except with a bakery aspect to it. Ooh, that's really nice. That smells really good. Okay, so that's breakfast in bed. Next we have Cloudberry Dreams. Sweet raspberry and a whisper of rose soar through billowy bursts of peach and vanilla. Oh my goodness. Wow, if you like sweet, vanilla there is rose I do smell the rose it's not super strong though I think the raspberry and peach I do get peach too raspberry and peach with a touch of vanilla not like bakery vanilla just a vanilla to mellow and sweeten things a little bit and then yeah, there's like this rose on the back end that kind of rounds it all out really nicely. That is really pretty, you guys. I like that. I don't know if I would necessarily consider this a, a fall winter scent, but it's really pretty and I definitely will try that one. Okay, next we have Around the Campfire. Make some memories in mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help set the scene. All right, this is in the woods category, by the way. Let's see. Definitely wood, definitely. Oh my goodness, oh wow. I just got smoky embers, <laughs> that's all. Oh my goodness, it almost smells like there's tobacco leaf in it. That must be with the smoky embers. That's what I'm smelling. Oh, it's pretty. If you like woodsy smells, this one is really good. I know, I've heard, I've watched some other people smell this one and there's been mixed reviews. But I think if you definitely love woodsy type scents, woodsy without like pine in it, this straight up woodsy scents, then you'll like this one. I like it on cold sniff a lot, actually. So that is around the campfire. Okay, next we have dancing sugar plums. This is in the spice category. Rich spiced plum falls right in step with visions of vanilla and sweet cinnamon apple. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Mmm. I definitely get the plum. 
and cinnamon apple. It's not super strong cinnamon, but it blends well. I get the plum and the apple, they mix well together. Mm, vanilla, I'm not really smelling vanilla all that much. That's pretty though. I don't have a lot of plum scents. I might have to get this one. This one's nice, I like it. Dancing Sugar Plums. Okay, next we have Autumn Road Trip. Sensi says, take a tour through crisp harvest apple, just picked Anjou pear, and a forest of towering silver oak. And this one sounds right up my alley. Oh my gosh, it is right up my alley. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the pear and the apple. I do smell the pear. A lot of times it's hard to get pear, um, especially if it's mixed with apple to differentiate between the two. But I do definitely get pear. And I do get a wood note to it. Oh, that's so pretty. I could smell this one all day. I really like that. Oh my goodness, this is a definite for me. Autumn road trip. Okay, next is just for you. So cute, I like puns. Wild blackberry offers its one of a kind sweetness to a forest of fir balsam and pine needles. So it's an evergreen plus wild blackberry scent. Let's see. Ooh, make sure. I do get evergreen. I do get the notes and it does feel like it's a combo of evergreens. Pine, cause pine usually is more astringent. I do get like an astringentness woodsiness and wild blackberry. I do get a sweet, yeah. I couldn't definitely say it was blackberry, but it is definitely a berry. That's nice. Hmm, interesting. I think I'd be excited to try that one and see how it is. Okay. Best in Snow. We're down to the final two. Best in Snow is frosted evergreen, cool mint, and a breath of pure icy air posed together in a prize-winning winter snapshot. Definitely a, a minty one. Cool mint, mm-hmm, yeah, cool mint. Like a winter green. Well, maybe kind of a combination peppermint and wintergreen together like spearmint combo it is definitely refreshing mm, I don't really get much in the well I guess I do kind of get a wood on the back end a woodsy note so that is best in snow a very cool refreshing one okay and last but not least is sleigh all day Okay, let's see. Sensi says, snow-kissed mint and juniper keep their cool as they dash through the crisp mountain air. So this is another fresh one from the fat, fresh category. Hmm. This one, mm, you definitely get the juniper in this one. You know that kind of like woodsy, earthy juniper. You get that in this. That's it. That's what kind of makes it different from the last one. And there is like a mountain airness to it. I do feel like there's a fresh air, like you're up on a mountain. Oh, that's pretty. I think I prefer this one to Best in Snow. This one just makes me feel like I'm out in the snow up in the mountains the mint isn't as strong and i do like mint so i do like the best in snow too but the this one is more blended together um so that is slay all day 
So that's all the new ones, you guys. And I will do another video um, going over my thoughts, first sniff thoughts on the returning um, scents as well. And then of course I'll go over what's new in regards to warmers and everything else in another separate video because I just don't want the videos to get super long for you. So if um, the fall stuff drops August 1st, that's when the new fall winter catalog comes out. So definitely contact your consultant uh, when the time comes to order any of these fabulous new scents. Uh, or you can click my link down in the description and it'll take you directly to my website. Until next time, you guys, TTFN, ta-ta for now.